Hey guys, this is Mast, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Naja in just two minutes. Max your one, then your ultimate, then your three, and then your two. When fighting enemies, look to use your one when multiple enemies are near each other, and spread from the minion wave. If that's not possible, look for just a few creeps to bounce off of, such as a jungle camp or the archers on a minion wave. If you can't do that, you can bounce your one through the wave, but it won't do much. And worst case scenario, you can hit a single opponent with your ring, which is pretty ineffective, but hey, at least it's something. You can also use your ring for speed boost for yourself and slows for your opponent, both of which can be effectively done on minion waves and jungle camps. Whether you're looking to engage or run away, throw your ring at minions and it'll increase your movement speed. Your two should be used either when you're going to engage or in the middle of a fight. A potential crit can double the damage of your three, but look for your opponents to move predictably if you're going to do this. Using your two first will give them time to juke. Your two can also be used as a heal in the middle of a fight and to reset your auto attack chain when you're in between auto attacks. Your two does work as an auto attack cancel. Your three, the sash, has immunity frames which means you're immune to both crowd control and damage when you sash an enemy. This only lasts during the time that you get pulled to the enemy, but this is a great way to avoid high damage and high CC abilities to keep you alive longer in a fight. While the obvious combo for Naja is to use your 3 into your ultimate, beads are a really easy way for your opponent to counter that combo. They wait for you to 3 and then they beads right before you ult and you end up wasting your ultimate. That's why, unless you know their beads are down, it's often better to not ult immediately after sashing your opponent. Normally they'll use their purification beads and you can either walk away knowing you put them on cooldown, or you can ult them once the CC immunity has expired. Similarly, if you can land it reliably, it's great to use your ultimate without sashing to catch an opponent by surprise. Well, my minute's up, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. I've I been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.